Mom, I have something important to tell you. Listen to me carefully. Jeffrey, what's wrong all of a sudden? Oh, I know. Did you get pickpocketed abroad? I told you it might happen, so you want me to lend you money? Listen to me seriously, Mom. I lied about being overseas. I'm actually running away from my wife. You caught her cheating on you? <laughs> You're so pathetic. That's not it. Wanda is a dangerous woman. What a thing to say first thing in the morning. You're always making jokes. Have you heard from Wanda lately? I haven't seen her for three months since you said you were going abroad. In that case, it's fine. Keep your distance. Why? Wanda is a sweet lady. Don't be fooled. I know I've joked around in the past and it was annoying, but this time, I'm serious. You need to believe me. What are you trying to say? Explain it to me. If I tell you, I'm putting you in danger. I'm asking you just to keep your distance and pretend nothing's wrong. Then you shouldn't have told me. I'm just curious. I want you to be on your guard. Don't let her in the house. What can a tiny girl like that do? I used to be a lacrosse player. I'm not going to let her do anything to me. That's not the point. Lacrosse was years ago, remember? You're not in the same shape as before. What do you mean? You can't tell me to be careful without explaining what's going on. Wanda has a history of taking people out. What? You're joking again. Do you enjoy making fun of your own mother? It's not true. Believe what I say. Then she should have been caught by the police. Well, she got away with it, didn't she? I know everything she did. That woman is dangerous. Then call the cops right now. I don't know where she is. What's going on with you guys? Where are you now? I can't tell you where I am right now, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm fine. That's enough. Your father also suddenly disappeared, so don't talk about things you don't fully understand. I'm sorry. Your father's company has been going out of business for some time now. I have no idea what's going on. I'm going crazy. I'll find him. I promise. Just listen to me. If you don't, the same thing might happen to you. Hey, don't say something like that. It sounds like you're threatening me. What am I supposed to do with such vague information? I'm worried about you because you're alone and my dad's disappeared. Just be careful. That's all I can say right now. If you and your wife are fighting, end it now. Don't do anything to make it worse. Just make sure you lock the house up, okay? Okay, okay. My son, who was supposed to be overseas, came to my house badly injured. Wanda, do you know anything about this? Kendra? For real? What does that mean? What have you done? It's... Jeffrey's covered in blood. What the hell happened? If you know what happened, tell me. Don't ever let him in the house. I already did. He's sleeping now. Oh, no, no, no. If we don't do something, there's gonna be big trouble. I know he's hurt real bad. I think he needs to be treated, but he doesn't want to go to the hospital. I don't know what to do. Please, run away. That's what Jeffrey said. Are you and him working together? Just hurry up. How can I leave my son in such a state? You're a heartless person, aren't you? I'm begging you. Please, believe me. Otherwise, you'll be in danger. You both said the same thing. You don't know who to believe. It has to be me. Did you do this? Huh? He warned me before. Beware of Wanda. What does that mean? He said you are dangerous. Who the hell are you? I'm just an ordinary housewife. What do you mean dangerous? Jeffrey said you have killed people before. That's ridiculous. I would never do such a thing. I think he said that to trick you. I didn't believe him either, but my son came home in this state. You can't blame me for being suspicious. Thinking back, Jeffrey's text at that time had a different feeling than usual. He sounded more serious than usual. Why couldn't I have believed him sooner? I feel so sorry for him. He's covered in so much blood. Did Jeffrey say he was attacked by me? Yes. Why don't you turn yourself in? Fortunately, Jeffrey is still alive. I'm just trying to protect you. 
I didn't think you'd suspect me. I'm confused too. No one is explaining clearly what's going on. I'm coming to get you. He told me not to meet you. If you come near my house, I'll beat you with my lacrosse stick. I want to tell you the truth about everything. Oh? But just hang on for a bit. I'll have someone contact you, not me. Who? Kendra, it's me. What is it now? I have nothing to say to a man who left his family and disappeared. You don't call me for a year. What were you thinking? And the next thing I know, the company's gone out of business and you've disappeared. Have you thought about how I felt? I'm sorry. I had no choice. What is going on with everybody? Well, say something. I didn't think Jeffrey would go to yours. Can you get out of the house now? No, I don't want you to tell me what to do. Okay, I'll explain the situation. Once you understand, you have to get out of the house immediately. You can't let Jeffrey find out. This is not a joke. I'm really serious. So listen to me with that in mind. Tell me quickly. First of all, it's because of me that Jeffrey is hurt. You attacked him? It's more accurate to say I failed to finish him off. Huh? How can you say that? Like he's a bug or something. What a thing to do to your own son. He's not my son. He's not a bug. He's the devil. What are you even saying? Wanda is right. You need to trust her. I think you're having an affair with Wanda. You've been communicating with her and not contacting me. That's extremely suspicious. Jeffrey found out about you and Wanda's affair, so you hurt him to keep him quiet? It's not that simple. I was after Jeffrey, and he was after me. No, it doesn't make any sense. If I had stayed home, you would have been involved too. That's why I had to disappear. Explain it so I can understand. Jeffrey is a member of an overseas black ops organization. What? This isn't a comic book. There's no way that's real. You call me after a year and make up lies like this? It's true. About a year ago, I happened to see Jeffrey in a bar. There were some seedy looking people with him, so I called out to him, but he gave me a hard stare and disappeared. It was probably just some rough friends. They didn't speak English. I have foreign friends too. I was curious, so I followed Jeffrey a few times, but then someone started following me. It was just your imagination. The biggest sign was when he pushed me off the platform at the train station. What? Oh my god, but you're okay. Luckily, I managed to climb out, but I could have died. But I got a text message right away. Your life was saved. Next time, it'll be your wife. That's... I think it was meant to tell me to give up and forget what I saw. But I didn't want to live in fear. And I felt that you might be in danger if I stayed with you. Is that true? Is that why you left? For me? Yes. I didn't tell you anything because I knew you wouldn't believe me anyway and also to protect you. I'm sorry I made you feel worried by not telling you. But I had no choice. Then why were you in touch with Wanda? Wanda had noticed the change in Jeffrey and was looking into it. What? I was following him and she called out to me from behind. I was surprised. So it was like that. With Wanda's help, we lied that her mother was sick and that she had to leave the house for about a week. I bugged their house so he wouldn't find out, and heard men speaking broken English and Jeffrey talking about a plan. What was the plan? They said they wanted to get rid of me and Wanda, who were following them, and kill you too, just in case. That's not true. Jeffrey would never do such a thing. He always used to annoy me with his weird pranks. But he was a kind-hearted boy who never did anything wrong. Jeffrey lied to you about being posted overseas, didn't he? Yes, but... He quit the company at that point. I guess he decided to make his secret job into his full-time work. And what the hell kind of job is that? Everything bad people do. I don't want to have to say it. It's the kind of things you don't even want to talk about. Why would he choose something so dangerous? I don't know. But I've seen it. I saw Jeffrey beat the shit out of a guy. I can't believe it. 
He was the kind of kid who would make a big fuss just because a ladybug flew by. People's character can change. As his father, it pains me too, but he's not the Jeffrey we know anymore. He's a different person, so as a responsible parent, I decided I need to get rid of him. Maybe if you talk to him, he'll understand. No, we're long past that point. What do you mean? A Chinese guy came to Wanda's parents' house. He said, please drink this delicious tea and left some tea for her. Of course, she didn't drink it and reported it to the police, but they said it was laced with something very dangerous. You mean Jeffrey's friend came to Wanda's parents' house? With the intention of erasing Wanda with a tea? That's right. The police was investigating, but they never caught him. There's a video of Jeffrey assaulting her, but even if they got him for that, he'd be out in a few years. And I figured it wouldn't make sense to go straight to the organization. So you did this reckless thing. But what can you do? You're just an old man. You were more reckless than me with my lacrosse stick. Well, I'm a man though. I thought if I attacked Jeffrey from behind, I could do it. But he noticed me, resisted, and I missed my chance. He was hurt badly. He's covered in blood. Poor guy. If he's alive, I failed. Like I said, he's not the Jeffrey we knew. Don't feel sorry for him. But you don't have to go this far. He's our child. And you're going to go to jail. If I don't do it, there will be more victims. I don't want you to be the mother of a criminal. But if you do it, I'll be the wife of a criminal. It's the same thing. Our divorce has been finalized. What? I didn't sign any divorce papers. I know your signature was forged. Wanda wrote it for me. I'm sorry. What are you doing? You said you're protecting me, but you're completely cutting me out. I'm Jeffrey's mother too. I have a right to know and I want to fight with you. Your only son, who you've loved and taken care of, is going through this. I knew there was no way you could accept it. In fact, you're shocked and upset right now. I'm sorry to say this, but even if you were to offer to help me with this, I don't think you could really do it. I want to believe in my son, but I also need to trust you as my partner of 30 years. That's why I snuck out of the house earlier. Really? Don't worry, Jeffrey doesn't know. Where are you? You know that abandoned house in the neighborhood that's called a haunted house? You're in that place? I don't believe in ghosts. Huh? What? You don't remember where the haunted house is? No, I remember. All right, I'll come get you right away. No, just send Wanda. Why only her? What if Jeffrey wakes up and wanders outside? He'll try to attack you for sure. But Wanda's in danger too. She's small and inconspicuous. She's brave. She'll be fine. I'm sure she'll be fine. I'll find a place to hide. I'll join you later. I understand. I fooled you. Huh? I have mom and Wanda. Thanks for sending Wanda alone, like you promised. I see. It was me texting you all along. Didn't you notice? I guess that's how it is with married couples after all these years, huh? Don't hurt them. That's up to you. What do you want from me? Get me out of the country. Why don't you just go? I've already been flagged. The minute I get to the airport, they'll get me. So you're going to make sure I get out safely. You think I'm capable of that? What? You think I don't know? You're CIA, aren't you? So you knew. Mom and I always thought you were just an ordinary company man. But with my organization's help, we figured it out right away. Don't underestimate our research skills. Don't tell your mom. I don't want her involved. Your obsession with me was a little over the top for just a dad. But it makes sense. If you're CIA. Well then, let's get this over with. Get your ass out here. Even I don't want to have to hurt two weak women. Then let them go right now. That depends on your answer. With your clout, you could get a plane or two, right? Well, I mean, it's not impossible, but... That's my dad. I'm counting on you. But I can't do all that for just you. No, I've got a few more people with me. I want them all on board. Two women's lives are at stake. You'd do that for me, wouldn't you, Dad? 
No, I can't get everyone out. That's physically impossible. Huh? What do you mean? Don't you know? All of your guys, except you, have already fled the country. Huh? They betrayed you. They cut you off and went back to their own country. You're lying. They said they were taking me with them. You still don't get it, do you? They used you. And when you were no longer of any use to them, they threw you away. No, no. Do you think there's any reason why such an organization would care about a 30-year-old businessman with no redeeming qualities or connections? You're just a patsy. You're just a front so they can blend in here. It's a trick they use a lot. Lies! They told you you'd get a lot of money and all you had to do was the dirty work. That's right. They were offering me $3 million to go back to their home country with them. I could live off the money for the rest of my life. That's not the kind of pay you would get starting from the bottom. Oh, really? Then what about my villa with a pool? What about my dream of being surrounded by beautiful women? It won't happen. It's only a dream. I know you're hiding in that abandoned house. Don't go outside unless you have to. You're surrounded by special forces as a result of the break-in. Huh? Wanda's carrying a GPS. It's embedded in her skin. She didn't even notice. Don't tell me you knew I was the one texting. You texted, you weren't afraid of ghosts. She's the opposite. She's always been a little tough on you, but your mom hates ghosts. She's a strong lacrosse player, so she's not afraid of anything living. But she can't stand ghosts that can't be physically attacked. So I knew right away that you were impersonating her. Dad, I was wrong. Those guys threatened me and I had no choice but to do the bad things they asked. I'm sorry, but that's not going to work. For the past year, I've seen your brutality with my own eyes. You're not even my son anymore. You're just a vicious criminal. Damn, what the hell? Then why didn't you just arrest me? Did you enjoy messing with me, stretching it out? I didn't enjoy it at all, but my bosses got greedy. They wanted to use you as a bait so they could get to the main part of the organization. Huh? But in the end, they ran and just left us with trash like you. Prison, huh? Well, that's shitty. But I'll be back in a few years, and we can do this all over again. Oh, come on. You think you can get off that easily? Huh? I can't go public with this, and whether you believe it or not, you're not heading to jail. Where are you sending me? For people who have worked with foreign criminal organizations, there is a special facility. You can serve your country there. You can do some good for once. You're kidding, right? You forget. I've always been bad at telling jokes. You forget how you used to groan at me every time I tried. Stop it, Dad. I'm your only son. My mother will be so sad. Of course she will be. Mommy used to think that your jokes were charming. She'd be sad to see you turn into such a piece of trash. Let's live together again. I'll admit my mistakes and make amends. Put me in a regular prison. Then, tell me, why did you do this? All I wanted was the money. I wanted to take care of you and mom. You know, travel, golf, jewelry, bags. Is that right? Wanda and mom would have gotten worried if I told them I quit my job, so I lied. When you found out, I was so flustered that I lost my cool and tried to take you out. I'm sorry about that. You were the one who pushed me off the platform. I didn't know for sure, but I never thought you'd tell me yourself. I'm sorry. I apologize from the bottom of my heart. I'm glad you're alive. That's good to hear. Now, can I please just go turn myself into the cops? Who said I forgive you? You said that's good to hear. I mean, it's good to hear that you're a lying piece of shit. What do you mean? Because if I saw even a glimpse of the old you, it would break my heart. I'm relieved to see you, you've become a different person. A man, no morals. Huh? This will be my last job. I want to do it with no regrets. You're not gonna help me? We're about to go in. If you hurt the hostages, or try to run away, we will open fire. No, no, no. Dad, please help me. I'm scared. I'm sorry. I'll be better from now on. Forgive me. I knew you know. When you were a kid, you pretended to be afraid of ladybugs. 
but you used to hide them in jars and prick them with a needle. What? So your act won't fool me again. Dad, see you later. Did he really think he could buy a villa with a pool overseas, surrounded himself with beautiful women, and live a life like that? Jeffrey, who was so taken with such a dream that he got involved in evil deeds. If you ask me what has happened to him, I can't answer the question. Let's just say that he's suffering endlessly now. Well, it's like an urban myth. People living a normal life have no way of knowing this story. My wife had her skull fractured by Jeffrey. Wanda also fought back and suffered serious injuries, but fortunately, both of them have recovered. I asked Wanda to wait seven years to receive the insurance money and inheritance after Jeffrey's death. I quit my job, proposed to my wife again, and we are now on our second honeymoon. It's good to be at peace. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.